This video is a tutorial showing how to use Google Meet breakout rooms. Breakout rooms are only available to Google G Suite for Education Enterprise customers. In this demo, we will have a Meet session with four students. To create a breakout room, start by clicking the Activities icon in the upper right corner. Then select Breakout Rooms. From the Breakout Rooms panel, choose the number of breakout rooms. You can have a max of 100. For this tutorial, we'll only use two rooms. Students will be randomly and equally assigned across your rooms. You can shuffle the students to randomly assign them to rooms, or you can drag them between rooms. Also, you can type a student's name to pull them into a room. Assign the rooms different names by clicking on the room names. I'll keep breakout 1 and 2 for this demo. Click Create button to launch the rooms. Students are prompted to enter the breakout rooms. The spinning circles means they are waiting for them to join the room. You will see them leave and re-enter the meeting in the breakout rooms. Later in the video, we'll have a look at this from a student perspective. As a moderator, you can make changes to rooms or join breakout rooms to monitor participants. To edit the breakout room, click the edit button. Drag the students between the rooms or type their names. You can also shuffle students. Click save when you're done. Students will see a prompt to join a meeting room. That is why you see the spinning circle after you click save. Now let's have a look from the student's perspective. The student will see a prompt to join the breakout room. They enter the room by clicking join. If they click cancel, they'll remain in the main room. Once in the breakout room, students can speak to or send chat messages to other students. A student may return to the main room at any time. They cannot put themselves back into a breakout room. If the teacher moves the student to another room, the student will see a new prompt to switch rooms. As the teacher, you can hop in by clicking the join link. You only see messages while you are in the room. You will not see any messages sent before you join the room or after you leave. Only messages sent while you're in the breakout room will be visible to you. It seems to be that the chat window clears when you switch between rooms. To close all breakout rooms, click the end breakout room button. This will close all rooms and bring everyone back to the main room. Students will see a prompt showing that breakout rooms have ended. A couple things to consider. Breakout rooms currently cannot be live streamed or recorded. The wording of the documentation suggests this might change in the future, but for now they can't be recorded. Admins should also ensure that meet creation privileges are only allowed by staff and not students. So that's Google Meet Breakout Rooms. I hope that gives you everything you need to get started using them in class. Post any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.